it was really different because um, Coach Brown does a lot more coaching instead of uh, strictly drill work than I've had in other workouts, but it went well. With so many guys out here, does that make the workout more difficult for you? Uh, it makes it more difficult from a learning standpoint because you have to pay attention more because he's not always talking to you as an individual. He's talking to other guys. Um, but if you just stay focused, then it's not that hard. I mean, I heard around the league, you know, guys talking you know, after coming through workouts um, that, uh, you know, it's, it's definitely a, a, a teaching workout. You know, Coach Brown is definitely, you know, Hall of Fame coach, one of the greatest coaches ever in the NBA. So, I mean, he's going to... Uh, He's going to teach, you know, young guys like myself, you know, coming in just, excuse me, let us know, you know, what's, you know, how how to play things, you know, what's going on and everything. But, uh, you know, especially me, you know, coming from Syracuse, you know, he played a lot of zone. So, uh, you know, he just, you know, helped me out on the defensive end and let me know a few pointers here and there. So, I mean, it was it was, it was was a good workout overall. It was uh, it was good. You know, we got a lot out of it. Uh, coach teaches a lot in, in his workouts, and, you know, you got to take it and, and use it as much as you can. I mean, I feel like I'm able to do a lot of things on the court. You know, I don't look to score 20 points a game, but, you know, I do what I can to help the team in other ways. I feel that, you know, my shooting for my size, you know, 6'10", small forward that can shoot, you know, put it on the floor and also has, you know, a post game. I try to come with the overall game, you know, and uh, definitely show that. And, uh, you know, just my athleticism, you know, people sleep on my athleticism a lot. You know, I feel like you know, I'm, a, I'm a very athletic player for my size and, you know, just, just trying to work at it and get better. Well, I've always been a sleeper because not many people have, uh, have seen everything that I can do. Uh, not a lot of coaches have been able to evaluate me in workout situations. And now that that's happening, people are recognizing that, uh, that I have guard skills, I can dribble, I can shoot and, and do things that they didn't know about. Where do you feel most comfortable at? Uh, initially, I'm going to be a three. And then uh, after that, you know, it's, um, depending on my improvement, you know, I hope to branch out to other positions too. You look at a guy like Joe Alexander. He's somebody whose stock seems to have been rising out there. Why do you think his stock's rising so much, and what do you see in him? Well, at the last part of the Big East season, he had a couple of high 30-point games. Uh, I think three or four of the last games, he set career highs, you know, and some real good competitive games, and he's – Athletic off the charts. You know, he reminds me a lot of Bobby Jones athletically. He can really run and jump, shoots the ball pretty good. So I think people probably recognize that. I, when he was tested in Orlando, um, a lot of his testing was pretty impressive. Dante Green's another one of those guys who's a projected early first rounder. But being a freshman, how much more difficult is it for him to come in and maybe make an impact? Well, I mean, you know, it's always hard when you have limited experience, and especially, you know, somebody like him. I was telling him today, he's played, you know, and guarded big guys his whole career. Now he's going to probably be a small forward in the NBA, 6'10". He's got to guard LeBron and Kobe and Carmelo and people like that. So it's going to be an adjustment, but he's, he's highly skilled. He's a real good kid. He wants to get better. I can see why people have not projected high. You know, somebody with that size and length and that, you know, the ability to handle the ball and shoot the ball, it's, it's a very hard combination to find. What about when you look at a guy like Patrick, somebody who's been around the game, obviously, with his dad being the player he was. How much does that pedigree kind of factor into how it might make him as a player in the NBA? I don't think that means anything. You know, he's here because, you know, he's shown he has the ability. Um, he played on a great team at Georgetown. It was an important part of their success. Um, he's a high-energy kid who can defend and, you know, respects the game. You know, I think he'll be in the league because, uh, you know, he's athletic and long, and I think he can defend his position pretty well.